Hi, welcome back to Low Carb for Life. Tonight I'm going to be making a low carb chicken enchilada casserole. And the ingredients that we'll be needing is four cups of cubed chicken cooked, eight ounces of cream cheese, about two teaspoons of seasoning, taco seasoning. You can even use your own made up taco seasoning if you need to. A seven ounce can of green chilies. A f actually, that was a four ounce can, I'm sorry. And a seven ounce can of Mexican green salsa. Six ounces of, it. you can do any cheese you want to. Right here I have um, Colby Jack. You can use any cheese that you prefer and about four green onions chopped and I think oh here I also added my own this is about a half of a chorizo is a uh, Mexican like pork sausage you can either put it in your hamburger for tacos or I'm gonna put I, I just cut about a half of one up and cooked it so first what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to spray your 11 by 7 pan or whatever size you have, a square pan. Next you want to put the chicken in. And I'm going to eyeball how much seasoning I'm going to use. I ask for uh, two teaspoons, but let's see, that's probably good. I'm going to stir that in the chicken, get that coated. Next, I have my, it's all coated good. Next, I have my sour cream, or my cream cheese. And I'm going to put my green sauce, salsa, in it. And my chives. I'm going to leave a few chives in my bowl so I can sprinkle it on top. So you don't have to. You can mix it all in. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to mix this in really good. Making like a creamy sauce. We want your cream cheese softened. You can either leave it out a little bit ahead of time or you can put it in the microwave for, I think I put mine in for like a minute. that's really stirred up good. Then I'm going to put in my chilies. Stir them in. This is another fast and quick meal that you probably have a lot of the things on hand. Okay. I'm also going to sprinkle my chorizo into my chicken, which I forgot what I was going to do. I want to give it a little bit of a Mexican kick. And you can kind of do this how you like it. It doesn't have to be exactly this way if you want to throw some different things in there. Go right ahead. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this all over the chicken. Kind of make it go into the chicken. Now, there's a little um, tip I want to give you. For my green onions, um, these are actually frozen. I, when I get my green onions, I will chop them up right away when I get them because sometimes half the time I'll forget that they're even in my refrigerator. So I'll chop them up and 
I'll just stick them in a baggie, a freezer, Ziploc baggie, and I'll stick them in my freezer, and then they're, they don't stick together at all, and they, I can just pick them out and use as much as I need to. So if there's ever a sale on them and you can get them, they freeze really, really nice. I do the same things with green peppers. Okay, we got all the sauce in there. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to top it with the cheese. Again, use any cheese you want. You can use Mexican cheese. You can use uh, taco cheese, um, Monterey Jack cheese. I even, I actually, if I had to remember it, I even have a, uh, I think I have a habanero cheese. That probably would have been really, really good on this. Like things spicy. Okay, and you're going to want to preheat your oven when you spray the pan. I probably should have said that. Preheat your oven to 350. You're going to want this to cook for about 25 minutes. I'm going to sprinkle the chives on now. And um, what you're actually doing is just cooking it long enough to let all the flavors blend. Because the chicken's already cooked, pretty much everything's already cooked. You just want it to blend up. And Okay, well, I'm going to stick this in my 350 degree oven for 25 minutes. And... After it's done, I'll show you what it looks like, and this will be our supper tonight, so stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to Low Carb for Life. I took it out of the oven. It was about 25 minutes, and it looks really, really good. So now I'm just going to scoop some into my bowl. I'm going to top mine with some cheese and some sour cream and some salsa. Sounds good to me. This is a little bit of uh, nacho salsa cheese. It's got the peppers and everything right in it. And some sour cream. And some salsa. Okay. I will take a bite. Hopefully it's not too hot. <laughs> See what it tastes like. Mmm. Very good Mexican flavor. The flavor's all blended really nice. Okay, well, this is another great dish from Low Carb for Life. Thank you.